Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing BoxyCharm's base box. Now I just did my premium box and I love that one. So I cannot wait to see what is in here. So BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription. Uh, the base box is $25 a month and you get what, five full-size products? But I'll have all that information listed down below in the description box for you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what I got for the month of May. Okay, what do we have here? So obviously uh, it comes with a little card that'll tell you every product that you have in your box, how much it's worth and what it does. So we are going to set this aside quickly. And the very first item I see, I'm actually, kind of excited about this. This is from Murad. This is the Environmental Shield City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. I actually do quite enjoy Murad products. Um, I have not tried this one before, but anything that's like an overnight mask or detox this or anti-aging, anything, um, I am definitely down to try. So. It says, detoxify and revitalize skin overnight. A daily dose of pollution and blue light from electronic devices can accelerate visible signs of aging. This breakthrough formula with supercharged antioxidants from Maraboobium plant <laughs> uh, stem cells neutralizes pollutants and strengthens skin's barrier while you sleep. Vitamin C helps brighten and even tone while nourishing botanicals plump skin to help visible reduce fine lines and wrinkles wake up to radiant healthy looking skin so yeah we are definitely gonna have to give this a try okay the next item i'm actually quite excited about um i haven't tried this particular uh heat protectant before and I've been wanting to try something new so this is going to be very useful for me. This is the Dry Bars Hot Toddy Before Ironing Heat Protectant Mist. Um, I actually do enjoy Dry Bar. I think they have some really really good products. Um, I love the fact that I actually get to have a full size so if I end up loving it I have a whole entire can to use and not just like a little sample size. So this is really, really exciting. Um, now I was using, what was it? Something from Suave or something from Walmart. Um, it works fine, but I definitely want to test out different ones and see, uh, you know, if something maybe is just a little bit better. So if you guys have actually tried this, leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys like this product or not. The next item we have is from Mellow Cosmetics. This is, what, a liquid lip gloss. I'm actually wearing a lip gloss today. I am wearing the Ofra lip gloss um, in the shade Pink Panther. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I don't even know if I showed you the box. I mean, some people like looking at the boxes, uh, but this is what it looks like. And then this is what the tube looks like. Kind of reminds me of like a Gerard Cosmetics um, packaging, but this is in the shade Saint, Saint Tropez. All right, let's go ahead and get this a swatch. I do enjoy lip glosses, especially in the summertime. Do not, do not mind my dry hands. I have not put any lotion on them yet. Uh, so this is the shade right here that's really pretty. I kind of want to give this a try. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and wipe this lip gloss off, try this on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am not going to be able to do this because I don't know what I did, but there's some kind of malfunction. So I went to go pull it back out. Look at this. It is all over the place. So I don't know if I like pushed the little thing down um, or it got stuck up there, but it is seriously everywhere. Okay, I, it got stuck up the top, so that was not fun. I thought it was going to drip all over me. Let's try this again. Once again, I will be right back. Okay, so this is actually a really, really pretty color. Hmm. It doesn't feel sticky. It almost feels like a skin tint rather than a lip gloss. 
really pretty. I think the only thing going forward is, is I just have to be careful that that little piece doesn't pop out again, but it's really pretty. I would definitely wear it again, so I'm still happy with this. Okay, we have two items left. This is a brush set from Lavish. I love brushes. I say this all the time. You guys probably get so sick of me saying it, but I love brushes, especially eye brushes. Um, I love the fact that they're like bright and colorful. It kind of gets me excited for like spring and summer. Um, but yes, I love the fact that these are actually smaller brushes because I do have hooded eyes. Um, it is easier for me to work with smaller brushes when it comes to my hooded eyes. So I know that this is like a crease, fluffy crease brush. I will definitely use this. I love that. Um, this I would use kind of for my outer corner. And pencil brush, can't have too many of those. Now these two aren't like my favorites. I don't know why, but this is like a angled fluffy brush and um, an angled liner brush. So I might set these aside and put these in a giveaway because I don't typically use these too often. So uh, we'll see. I have to go through my collection and see how many I do have because I know that the angle brush can kind of be useful for like some of my Halloween looks. So I definitely want to see what I have in my collection before I do put it aside. So uh, either way, I'm still really happy that these are in here. Um, they feel really, really soft. And yeah, I, I don't, I feel like I can never get enough brushes. <laughs> Maybe that's just because I keep using them and I don't want to wash them. So I have more and I can use those and then when it's time to wash, I wash all of them and it's a big pain. So, <laughs> okay. The next item we have is from Cab Cosmetics. Uh, I'm assuming this is the day and night palette. No. Yes. I'm assuming it's the day and night palette because it also says day and night on the top. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. I have not heard of this brand. Um, have you guys? I certainly have not, but there are a lot of brands out there um smaller brands that I am not aware of that I do enjoy testing out and getting to know so yeah this is what the case looks like feels really nice and what do we got going on here these are some really really pretty colors uh it kind of gives me like um Desert Dusk Vibe from like Huda Beauty. So these are your shades right here. Very, very, very pretty. I love the purples. I like the fact that, well, it says day and night. So I'm assuming that it says you can create daytime looks and evening looks. And this is kind of like an all around palette, which I do see that here. I do want to swatch some, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one. Ugh. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, normally, I would just dig right in and do some swatches, but I'm really not sure if I'm going to keep this one. I just got the Lady Gaga um, palette, and I really like that, and it kind of has some purples in there. Um, and like I said, this kind of is giving me the Huda Beauty uh, Desert Dust palette vibes. So I'm going to hang on to this one and see how I feel about it, if I want to keep it or if I want to give it away. So we're not going to swatch this just yet. All right, so let's do a quick recount of the box. So the Murad Moisturizer is $74. Now I do believe that um, skincare is very expensive. Um, I know BoxyCharm and Ipsy and all those crazy boxes have been known to over exaggerate their prices. I think in my premium box, I got three brushes that they said were like $96. They were not $96 quality brushes. Um, if I'm going to spend that much, I expect to get like um, one of those very, very, very fancy brushes from Beautylish. What is it? The uh, uh, Those fancy brushes from like Sonia G, uh, Wayne Goss. Now those are definitely, I can see like three brushes adding up to $96, but not the ones that they sent me. Um, but with this case, I do see the skincare being $74. Um, okay, so the uh, Cab Cosmetics Day and Night Eyeshadow Palette is $52. Um, the 
eye collection brush set is $30. It's pretty decently priced. Um, the dry bar heat protectant mist is $27. That's actually not a bad price. And the lip gloss that I'm wearing now is $18. So my box comes up to $201 and we got this box for $25. So I, once again, I really feel that this month is definitely worth it for me. Um, I'm really enjoying the lip gloss. It's still very comfortable on my lips. Like I said, it's a little bit more of a lip stain than a lip gloss, but I still like it. Uh, the Murad, so excited to try this. The palette was really pretty. I love the brushes. And I definitely need this for when I style my hair or style my daughter's hair. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that this box is worth it. Uh, so let me know down in the comments below. Have you received your base box? Do you get Boxy Charm? What did you get? Did you like it? Um, are you still waiting? Because I know the mail system is all kinds of jacked up and it takes a while to get our boxes now. So uh, if you, you have answers to any of those questions, just let me know down in the comments below. And that is it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.